So yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, we combined the Kernza for the first time. This was the first harvest. And I wanted to do a, a recap. The combine machine worked well. Um, doing the wheat before that was a good test run. Just uh, so I've got, we had some open questions as to why we got what we got. The whole time we got everything set. Um, you know, the rotor speed really fast, the concave's really tight, the fan intermediate and tried to dial it back down a little bit until I was getting a lot of stems in my clean grain sample. And then we walked behind the, the combine three times with a tarp trying to see what was coming out the back. Now, it's really hard. It's blowing. There were two guys back there. <sighs> seemed happy with the sample at the time and the stand of Kernza was okay in spots I would say it's 50% stand after I swathed it you could just see there were places where there wasn't a whole lot in the windrow so that said what I ended up with <coughs> the idea was you wanted to force you wanted to close that bottom sieve down and force everything to go back through the the tailings uh, cross auger which is this here so you're seeing a lot of stems and a lot of dirt, some thresh grain, but the idea was to force it to go back through. And then, okay, fair enough. So then I come over here. Let's get out of the shadow. This is my basically going up into the clean grain um, tank. And given the other samples I've seen of Kernza, I, I mean, that's really good now maybe i should have turned the fan down a little bit that's one of the things i think of that because i don't see enough stems in here maybe it could be in a dirtier sample and maybe i was blowing some out the back um yeah that's all it, it threshed really well um the currents just seems to be healthy and maybe there was uh, pods on the currents of stems I don't know what you would call them on the tip that it just didn't develop so there were heads but they weren't fully formed uh, this is what I ended up taking out of the combine vacuuming out and again now that I look at it it's like well this has been through a cleaner so that might be one clue as to what what happened because the big reveal and the results were we had 24 acres and we were told to expect anywhere from 500, maybe even a thousand pounds per acre, depending. And this was decent corn ground. This ground two years ago had uh, that 165 bushel corn on it. It was part of that. So it went into Kernza last summer, last uh, August. So the 24 acres, you kind of expected anywhere from 12 to 24,000 pounds, which pretty much would have filled up this 385 bushel, uh, we call it a seed tender, it's what I use to move my wheat seeds around. So I've got this screw in auger in it, and the big reveal tells you how much I got. You look down there, all the way in the bottom, that's how much came off of 24 acres. Now granted, maybe there was a hole in the combine that was really tiny. There might be 75 bushels there. 50 bushels? So. The uh, actual kerns of plant itself underneath looks healthy. It's coming up, it's green. It's, it's greening up already from where I swapped it about a week ago. But the real puzzle, and maybe you can see in here, I mean, there you see the level through the window. And yeah, there's a few more stems in that one, but it's pretty much representative of what I showed coming out of the uh, clean grain cross auger that goes up to the grain tank. So I, it's really a mystery. I don't think it was too dry. I mean, there could have been some header loss. It's really hard to, to know where the problem was. It could be a combination of all of the above. Um, 
people kind of hand wave this away and say, well, it's experimental. What do you expect? But uh, this, at the same time, the promoters of it really go out of their way to talk about the benefits and everything. And kind of the risk reward ratio on my end of it is like, okay, everybody pats me on the back. I hesitate to say anything, pat me on the back, but it says, attaboy, good job. But I'm the one taking all the risk. And then the other part of this is that while there is a growers co-op that's forming, they're re not really sure if there's an outlet for any of this. So <laughs> even if that hopper was full, even if that uh, seed tender, you know, he had the whatever, 15,000 pounds, um, I probably would have had to hang on to it in that uh, six months to a year. And even then, I don't know if I could sell it. So um, I decided not to make this video right after, right at yesterday at the end of the day, because I was like, oh man, that sucks. I mean, it's quite a bit of effort to do this. And um, to, uh, to have that as a result is, is disappointing. That's the nicest way to put it, or the most measured way, probably the best response for me health you know mental health what not mental health but you know what i mean so i'm uh you know i'm cleaning out the combine i'll change the concaves over for beans and um clean up the pickup head and wait till next year with the wheat and the kernza we'll do it all over again so i'm hoping for better results next year but uh we'll see veremos veremos we will see Oh, bonus footage here. See if you can spot the uh, deer leg my dog likes to chew on. Thought it was disgusting at first, but now, uh, well, I'm used to it. Anyway, enough of that. Enough ramble. We'll uh, see you soon. Bye.